Hello and welcome. Today's video we're going to be talking about the Nano Breakout Board, the NTMD. This is meant to be worked with the Nano Microcontroller. You simply put it on top and then you'll get access to all the pins on both sides. In this case with uh, screw terminals and female headers. Now we go through a lot of these and we sort a bunch of them and there are 62 soldering joints. It gets kind of cumbersome to assemble all of these in the way that we have been doing. So in this video we'd like to show a custom 3D printed uh, mold that we made to help us solder in a faster, more efficient way. And now the principle of this video can be applied to anything that you solder many times over and over. Uh, today it's the NTMD, but it can be done with anything. So this mold works as follows. You simply have to take the components and they all fit, there's a little bit of a tolerance, but you just have to put them in, just like that. And we have little arrows here indicating which direction the screw terminals should face because they do fit in both ways and you don't want to put them in the wrong way. So that's it, we just put in all the components. There is in this case 62 soldering joints. And then we simply take our PCB and there you go. So now all we have to do is solder along all of these and that's it. So in this video today we're going to be showing a time lapse on the actual 3D printing itself. We'll talk a little bit as it goes along and then we'll have another time lapse of soldering and assembling this uh, NTMD with the mold and we'll show the finished product. Hope you enjoy! So here we go, started to 3D print. We're doing a skirt around the base. Uh, I like to go three times around. The distance from the base here is, uh, I think, the default, but uh, I usually like to do a little bit longer, maybe uh, 10 mm. Anyways, we're doing three times around. Just to get that gung off, you can see, in case you missed it, right at the beginning, there's a little bit of an ooze coming out of the nozzle. And in a couple of the frames, you can see my my hand with the spatula coming in and taking it out. Uh, most of the time the skirt does a good job at uh, removing that and not interfering with the actual print. And so here we are. Uh, you can see the clock in the background is ticking quite fast. We sped the video up quite a bit, uh, a little bit more than 60x. So roughly one second of video time is a minute in uh, printing real time. And so there it goes. The video took approximately three hours, give or take. So we shrunk it down quite a bit. And it's a little bit choppy at, uh, at times, depending on which frames have been removed and which are showing. 60x is quite uh, quite the speed up, so it's not as smooth as as you'd like. In this mold we included a, a tolerance on all the dimensions uh, not just the tolerance in the actual components as they vary and the tolerance of the PCB but also the 3d print itself it's not perfect this is the real life not a theoretical calculation so we have to include a tolerance and it took a few designs uh, a few rounds of printing to get it the way it is now So here it is, this is the NTMD, it has uh, 62 soldering joints that the user would have to do manually, so right now I'm just showing the old way, I'm using a broken nano stuck into a breadboard and then a couple of female headers to hold the PCB in, that makes sure that we get a 90 degrees to the board, and so we would solder those 15 on that side and then the 15 on the other side. After that, take it out, put in the screw terminals as 
15 on each side again. A little bit tedious to do that. And then we we'll solder those. That's not a good way. So the better way is of course to use our mold that we just printed. We simply have to put in the components. Uh, one time setup. Everything's guaranteed to fit nicely, snugly. And you can see there's a little bit of a jiggle boom, especially in those screw terminals. And uh, put the PCB on, no problem at all. Nice and tight. And now when I'm soldering, I still do uh, opposite ends, so I do that one. And then the bottom, and I go across to the other side. This is a habit that I picked up a while ago. I'm not sure if it's necessary, but I do it nonetheless. So here we go. Soldering all of them up. it out of the mold. Look at that, beautiful. Everything's perpendicular, and flush to the board. Works out quite well. So this can be applied to any number of products that you saw many times. Thanks for watching.